This one is called Human Robots, and I'll talk about my inspiration for it, the materials I used, uh, the fact that it's very abstract as opposed to my other work that I do mostly, and why I do abstract occasionally. Um, anyway, to, to, to begin with, uh, the, ter the name Human Robots, it was named after everything was done. I didn't have in mind exactly kind of what I wanted to call it, but when I'm doing this type of work, uh, the, the theme develops over time. So it's kind of a surprise to me too at the end of it. So what I did know is that I wanted to use grays and blacks. Um, there's, there's red in here. Uh, the red came in later because uh, when I'm using clippings from magazines, if I see a really interesting element and I really kind of want to highlight it, it'll have a color of its own. So I'll make that the, the, the highlight color of it. And so um, it just happened to be uh, eyes. So I found this in a magazine there. It's uh, photog uh, photography. It's a uh, pictures of eyes and they were kind of, you know, in a grid of, of red and, and uh, off white and they were kind of mixed up. And then I mix, I cut them up and mixed them up even more. And I, I put them over here and then I, I saw the red. And so I just kind of like, you know what, I'm going to make that the accent color. So I like dropped this red, uh, drippy red throughout and then I made some like grungy effects with mesh uh, metal like I, I do in my other paintings. So there is a lot of texture Then I splattered paint on it and added even more and so when I saw the the drippy eyes and things like that I have to I then I then I have an idea kind of where I want to go so I knew it was going to be kind of masculine and kind of um, focused on technology for some reason I don't know so I went through all my clippings and that takes a lot of time for me because I have them filed according mainly according to color and then I have all these phrases and words that I find interesting in, in magazines and I'll just clip them out so I have to go through all those phrases and all those clippings and see okay what matches the style so that process itself takes hours and hours and sometimes days and then once I have like a pile of materials that I may or may not use then I'll lay them out on a background. So this background is acrylic pour, but it's very like streaky. So I didn't let it sit and like make those bubbly effects that I do on my other painting. I just like um, took a piece of paper and dragged it all along. So it's very like linear on this one. So um, I lay out the clippings and I kind of, I place them in areas where you, you won't notice them when you're standing far back, but when you get close to read them, you'll find them in places and you'll be like, oh, I didn't know something was there, but it adds a little bit of color um, to the overall painting. So it's it's like little surprises in it. Um, so I, ha I found this one clipping that says, um, melding humans and robots. And I thought, well, that's funny um, and scary at the same time. So I knew I wanted that in there. And then I also found a phrase that says, is addictive. So that became the theme. Uh, melding humans and robots is addictive, so is human robots. And then that kind of goes along with the eyes. They look almost mechanical. Um, there's some little phrases in here that uh, kind of lend to that theme. Um, and then it just kind of looks like a future world kind of painting. So um, I had a lot of fun with this one. It gives me a break from all the detail work when I do my oil painting landscapes. Um, it's, it's very much kind of my style. Our house is a very industrial modern style. My husband and I, that's, that's a style we both agree on. So our artwork that I make for our house is, is kind of like this. So when people see my landscapes and the bright colors and stuff, and then they go into my house, visit my house, they're like, it's, it's a little different. Um, just because that's in a style that my husband and I both agree on. So I, I bow to that so and he's uh, we both get excited about it so hey why not live with it so anyway um, human robots it's it'd be a great print um, there's there's texture in it but it won't affect the outcome of a print you'll still see um, the effects of a texture on this painting 
um, as well. And it's, it is masculine. It'd look pretty cool on a, on a dark gray wall. Um, it'd look really awesome in a, um, like a man cave um, would be great or an industrial modern home like I have. So anyway, it's human robots. <laughs>